All right, here we're going to do one more limit problem. Um, here we're going to look at the limit as n goes to infinity of n raised to the negative n to the third power. The first thing I'm going to do is just rewrite this. So n raised to negative n to the third, okay, we can always put that over 1. Well, we can make negative exponents positive by sticking that exponent in the denominator. So now we have 1 over n raised to positive n to the third. And, you know, if you think about it again, we're, we're letting n go to infinity. So certainly for n values greater than or equal to 1, I claim that, well, n raised to n to the third power, that's always going to be, whoops, I almost got my inequality backwards, n raised to n to the third power, that's always going to be greater than or equal to n to the first. I mean, imagine if you plug in 1. You'll have 1 to the first and on the left and 1 to the first on the right. If you plug in 2, for example, though, you're going to have 2 raised to the power of 2 cubed. So 2 to the 8 is certainly greater than or equal to 2. Again, if you plug in 3, you know, 3 raised to the th 3 cubed or 3 raised to the 27 power is certainly greater than or equal to 3. So I think this is uh, pretty clear. I don't think many people would argue with that. Well, that tells us that if we take 1 over this number, that's going to be less than or equal to 1 over n. Again, you know, our fraction now, the fraction on the left has a bigger denominator. Well, if a fraction has a bigger denominator and the same uh, numerator, that fraction is going to be smaller. Well, uh, again, since we're using positive numbers, n is some positive number, likewise, 1 over n raised to n to the third, that's always going to be greater than or equal to 0. So now we can bring in our squeeze theorem, and we can simply look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the left side, which is 0. Well, that limit certainly is 0. Likewise, if we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the right side, well, the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n, that's also definitely 0. So what this now tells us is that by the squeeze theorem, so by the squeeze theorem, the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n raised to n to the third must also equal 0.